Welcome back to our channel friends and to the great ocean road once again. Wolsey, probably the most beautiful and scenic road ever in this episode and I still don't want to make the video too lengthy and at the same time not willing to cut off beautiful clips let's break it into two parts in this first part we see the lovely farmhouse and the second part will be all about the ultimate Australian natural landscapes including the iconic Twilla fossils. In the previous episode, we saw the magical Twilla fossils, but unfortunately I couldn't spend more time as it started raining and I had to rush to the farmhouse where I booked for my night stay. This farmhouse built back in 1890s and is located in a small town called Kolak, an hour away from Twelve Apostles. Past three days I've been completely on the road riding my motorbike from early morning till late at night and today is the first time I could spend a beautiful evening at this place with all these lovely animals and of course with the host who was very welcoming and had an interesting long chat about her passion for horse riding and farming I haven't experienced this peaceful living in a very long time. all alone in this vast place what an ambience i wish i could stay here for the whole week and i would definitely do that when i ride to the great ocean road next time the first time i rode to great ocean road from sydney was before a few years during winter with no proper thermals on my KTM without heated grips. I've learned my lesson well and I keep this time a believe. Though I'm doing it this time during summer, it's cold. So these rural roads are a little slippery during early morning. Heading down to my most favorite place in Australia early this morning. I would love to watch the sunrise from Chuan Apostles but I didn't do that for a few reasons. Number one, I stayed an hour away from Twelve Apostles, so riding for an hour in a very dark, cold night and icy rural roads, a bit risky. Second, I couldn't capture anything with my drone yesterday evening due to heavy wind and I nearly lost my drone. So, I chose to watch sunrise from this beautiful farm, capture some drone videos 
and then start riding when there is a little sunlight. Here we are to our destination for which I have left Sydney on my ninja three days ago. Don't forget to subscribe as the next episode is going to be awesome and exciting.